Right guys, welcome back to Red Dead Online. The fastest way that we know so far to get gold is to do treasure maps. And there's not many ways to get treasure maps in this game. You have ranking up from rank 10 onwards. Every five levels is going to award you with a treasure map. So 10, 15, 20, so on. And the only other way that people know of so far is the gang hideouts. This is not consistent at all to get these treasure maps. But you can get them from gang hideouts. So what I'll do is leave a link in the description to a website that has a map. On the map there's only 24 locations of gang hideouts. There is a few more in the game world, but this map hasn't covered them. But playing through the game you'll find them yourself. So if you don't know where they are, this map will help out and then as you're going through them you'll eventually find more. So the best way to do this is find a cluster of like 4 or 5 gang hideouts that are close together. And what you want to do is just travel back and forth. Sometimes they're not going to trigger, so you could go to all four or five of them that you've found like the little cluster together. You could go to all of them and then not be a single gang hideout. The easiest way to find them when you get near the area is look up in the sky. It's the same as an enemy camp from the single player. You will see the smoke rising up. That means there's a gang hideout available. When you begin these gang hideouts, there will be a group of like 15 to 20 members in the camp. Then you're going to have a leader and you need to kill him or you can spare his life. Every now and then in certain gang hideouts I believe that he offers you a treasure map if you save him. But I don't know for definite if that works or not. So what you need to do is go to a gang hideout. You need to kill all the members there and if you're going for the honour side of things. Go up to the leader because after you've killed all of his gang members he will surrender. And his icon on the map will go from red to yellow. So kill all the members. Go up to the leader. And if you want good honour, spare his life and he'll start running away, then what you can do, because you actually need to loot him in order to get the treasure map from him, so you can lasso him, hogtie him, then loot his body and cut him free. That will not decrease your honour. If you're going for the bad honour, simply just kill him, but you've got to be quick looting his body if you kill him, because at the gang hideouts, all the bodies despawn very quick. It's not just the leader that drops a treasure map, you can find one. I think there's a few chests that you can open in gang hideouts. I don't think they're in every single one, but apparently there's a couple that have chests that are lootable. And not just that, the other members from that gang hideout can also drop a treasure map. So loot everybody, including the leader because he's got the biggest drop rate, I think. I'm not entirely sure because, as I said at the beginning, it's not consistent. I've done eight of these gang hideouts. And I haven't been given a single treasure map so far. If for some reason you are doing a gang hideout, then you go exploring for more and there's not one that pops up for a very long time. The gang hideouts take a long, long time to re-trigger kind of thing. And they're not always at the same locations. It all depends on the lobby you're in. So if you've gone to like five or six locations or you've repeatedly gone around your little cluster of gang hideout locations and one hasn't triggered... Simply just go into a new free roam session and see if they're up in that one. It's as simple as that, there's not really much else to it. Once you've been given a treasure map, whether it's from looting the leader or the other gang members, I believe it works exactly the same as any other treasure map. You go to the yellow circle area, you search it, there's multiple locations there to actually find the treasure, and then you're going to be awarded something between 40 and maybe 75 gold nuggets, and between like 50... And I've seen people get like $115 out of one of the treasure loot boxes. But as I said, it's very, very inconsistent. I'm not sure how many treasure maps can drop. Like, I don't know if there's a maximum of five available from gang hideouts throughout your whole, like, online experience. I don't know how any of that works. And I'm not sure if they can stack. So I don't know if you've got one. I think you're probably best just to be on the safe side to go and collect that treasure before doing any more gang hideouts. Also, if you're looking for XP, it's not amazing, but for every gang hideout you successfully clear out, you are going to be awarded 150 XP, plus you get 5 XP for every kill you get. I believe you get a little bit more with headshots. It, it pretty much works exactly the same as killing the players in story missions and stuff like that. And one thing I seem to have picked up on from this is I believe the gang hideouts trigger more often at night time in the game than it does during the day. That is one thing I'm not 100% on, but from my personal experience, I've had more luck finding them during the night. So that's a little video to tell you guys how to get more treasure maps in Red Dead Online. 
because gold is very hard to come by and if your worm bait's bugged out, I know a lot of people have been spending gold on lures, you have to be careful because the lures can break and obviously outfits and certain horses cost gold. So treasure maps is very, very good. It's the highest amount of gold and money you can get in like one hit. So that's the end of the video guys, I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.